It's too big for my USB slot though. It's time to Ask the Movie Watcher. I am Tom Merritt, a known and accused watcher of movies, and I will confirm that I have watched them. We have an email from Adele in Fort Myers, Florida, who asks, is it time to sell all my DVDs? Well, Adele, simple answer is yes. But hold on before you do that. Uh, the, the question is really like, hey, I want to have movies available in my house when I want to watch them. Can I do that? I would say go carefully through your DVDs. Look for the ones that are going to obviously be available on Netflix, on iTunes, the massively popular ones. There may be some interesting movies that aren't available on those services. Maybe some movies that are rare or hard to find. The complete season of 10 Speed and Brown Shoe, for instance, would be an example of that. Uh, you want to keep those DVDs, but the others, if you're comfortable downloading movies and watching them from a store like iTunes or Vudu, uh, or if you subscribe to Netflix and HBO and you're like, yeah, there, there's plenty of movies on there, I don't need to have a bunch sitting around anymore, then yeah, you can probably sell your movies. One thing to know, though, is there is a service that with a little extra money, you can pay to upload your DVDs into the cloud at one of these stores. So let's take Vudu, for instance. You could put your DVD in and pay to have the digital version made available for you for much less than you would pay for the full digital version without the DVD. Uh, a lot of people feel like, well, that's silly. I could rip it myself off the DVD, which you can. That takes a little more technical expertise, though. Hope that helps you out, Adele. The simple answer, yeah, sell most of them. <laughs> 